Well, I think in the, in the old model of insurance and uh, data accumulation and information accumulation about insurance, about trends, um, in the old model, everything is centralized. And so uh, policyholders go to one place for that information. They go to one place where they can trust that data. Uh, in the new model, that data is decentralized. It's distributed. There are a lot more holders of that information, and so policyholders have more options. They don't necessarily have to go to the insurance company to get their information and data um, about their, their risks. They can find that on many other different sources. And so I think this is the trend that insurance has to manage. So data and information has always historically carried a price. I think one of the things that's happening today is you have different types of data. And so the pricing is getting more decentral, uh, more fragmented and more uh, distributed. So you have premium data, you've got average data, you've got free data. Um, and, and the old adage of you get what you pay for is not necessarily true anymore given the amount of data. Sometimes uh, it feels like the, uh, the landscape is more like a gold mine and you're just you're looking to find the data anywhere you can. And so I think there's, there's a lot of data. It can be priced. It certainly costs money to get data um, and certainly has value when used. So yes. Yeah, I think in any industry when you have um, aggregate um, scale in any part of the value chain, uh, that industry or that, that uh, sector is exposed to risks wherever that aggregate risk is, uh, uh, exists. And so I think in, in cloud computing, uh, what we see is a centralization or aggregation of infrastructure into a handful of small, uh, a small few parties that are controlling you know, vast majorities of the internet traffic and data uh, hosting, cloud services, cloud storage, uh, and clearly that's a bottleneck. Um, where I don't think it's a risk, though, is that bottleneck um, is now layered with additional service providers and platform providers. And so as long as we see that trend increasing, I don't think we'll have uh, as severe an accumulation risk at, in the short term. Um, however, if, uh, if the past predicts the future, tech companies like to acquire other, other partners up and down the value chain. So if we start to see the likes of Microsoft and Amazon acquiring some of the platform operators, uh, then I think we're right back to the start, and I do think there's, there's accumulation risk.